eight deep learning FAQs answered within eight minutes. If you want a better experience, guys, you can consider switching to 1.25 or 1.5x. Okay, let's start. First question, which deep learning model is best for classification? Now it depends. Are we talking about image classification or we are talking about some other kind of classification? If we are talking of image classification, maybe CNN will do the job. If we are talking about some other kind of classification, there is something called radial basis function network RBFNs that can do the job. However, we cannot draw a generic conclusion here saying this particular model will work in all the classification scenarios. Which deep learning framework is growing fastest? So this is not a difficult one due to large number of user base, large number of open source contributions, large number of help on the internet. Two frameworks are growing. One is TensorFlow, other is PyTorch, right? So many users are using it. Many things you can get on internet. It's easy to work with them and it is always growing and it is always, you know, being used on different, different kinds of flavors of applications. Hence, these two are fastest growing. Third question. What deep learning means? Basically, deep learning means a specific way of machine learning, I will say, a specific way of artificial intelligence where we are trying to mimic the human behavior. We are trying to learn exactly same way like humans learn through biological neurons. So there is a concept of artificial neurons. Using this, we make something known as artificial neural network. Using this artificial neural network, when we create more layers in the network, more sophisticated layers, we call this kind of learning as deep learning. Okay? Uh, can deep learning predict stock price? Yes and no both. Why yes? Because end of it, it's a prediction problem. You have the historical data. You want to predict the stock price for the future. Is it doable? Yes, it's doable. But it depends on how well you can account for real world happenings how well you can forecast real world happenings. For example, how accurately you can forecast floods, earthquakes, um, impact of some big event on the global economy, uh, dollar versus rupees value, pound versus rupees value, how well you can forecast these things. Based on that, probably you can make a model which can predict stock price, but taking into account all these real world happenings is the tricky part here, okay? We can do this, but very, very difficult to do. Next question, how deep learning works? So deep learning basically works using something known as artificial neural network. That is a replication or a duplicate of biological neuron, we can say, that we try to create, make the machines learn using this biological, using this artificial neuron. And this is the entire basis of what we call as deep learning, okay? Next question, are deep learning and machine learning different? Um, it's not different. It's different in the way it learns the pattern from the data. To keep it very simple, machine learning can be thought as a superset and deep learning can be thought as a subset inside machine learning. Okay. Now, why I'm saying it is a subset of machine learning? So machine learning is basically learning pattern from the data and deep learning is one specific way of learning pattern from the data. So under the umbrella of machine learning, there can be 10 ways to learn pattern from the data. Deep learning is one of those 10 ways. So deep learning and machine learning are different in this way. Okay. Why deep learning is important? This is a very, very good question. We need to understand this. Deep learning is important and deep learning is getting popular and famous. The reason for that is two, three reasons. First is we are generating more data. If you have limited data, you can probably do something with the machine learning. If you have more data, you want to use that, utilize that data for better learning. And for doing that, you need to train a sophisticated neural network model. And that is your deep learning. Okay. Second is, as the time is passing, we have more infra with us. So the cost of storage and processing of data is coming down. That means infra is available to us more. If that is the case and we have more data, obviously we want to use a more sophisticated algorithm, which can give us a better business answers to our business questions, right? So we use deep learning. There is one more reason why deep learning is getting famous. That is machine learning due to its over simplicity sometimes and over assumptions, I will say, do not fit with real world data scenarios. So real world data scenarios may be completely different than, than um, how machine learning is trying to learn pattern. 
and that is where deep learning is important deep learning is gaining momentum deep learning is becoming popular okay next question will deep learning replace machine learning another interesting question one thing to understand here not all the organizations are comfortable with something new okay so there are financial institutions there are banks which are using some machine learning model since years and years together they have trust on that model so it may not be very easy for them to shift to something new and also deep learning models are treated as little black box model where you just don't have much control on what is going on inside especially the financial institutions banks etc don't want this kind of situation they want to know end to end what is happening how it is happening then they want to act on that in their real world business right so it is not a immediate thing obviously that deep learning will replace machine learning machine learning has its own value deep learning has its own value slowly as the um, data is coming more as the output from the deep learning algorithm is more sophisticated maybe in the future deep learning will replace machine learning but in my suggestion or in my assumption it will not be 100% replacement obviously machine learning will always have its own importance okay so these are the questions about deep learning and i thought i should list it at one place and tell it to you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want me to create similar content on different different topics in data science ai and machine learning please drop me a comment saying you want me to create this i request you please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care